worship so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Oh, it's coming. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things. And now you know what will hold us, that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity, it doth already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth that they might be saved. The Democrats did not receive the love of the truth that they might be they are going straight to hell. And Obama's going with them. Every person that ever been killed by people from the White House and all the government people and all the cops and all everybody else and all these things that you're doing, you lawyers out there committing adultery and you preachers out there doing all this filthiness and garbage, you will be exposed one day. God is going to bring it to light. Yeah. And God's going to use his prophets and God's going to use them. I tell you what's going to be even tough for you when he sends his last two witnesses out there and he's going to show you, oh my goodness, he's going to pull the face off Obama. Yeah. He's going to show you who he really is. And for this cause, because you want to live in wickedness, that's why you voted, you little whores out there, you little girls out there, you little white girls and white boys, white people, black people, all together, you voted for a man that is totally against God. He stands for the sodomites. He made it known. He, he is a sodomite. Yeah, yeah, man, he was. Uh, you know what I mean? My goodness. And here he stands for all this wickedness. He, he stands for fornication. He stands for adultery. He stands... For pornography, he stands. Yeah, he stands for all this wickedness. Oh, but y'all love Jesus and you had to vote for him. <laughs> oh, what hypocrisy, hypocrisy. And, and he lives a wicked life. It's amazing. He is a Muslim, but you can't accept that. I'm waiting to see... I want to see when he swears himself into the White House. It's white. It, you know, it's white. I can't help that. It's white. I'm waiting to see what he's going to put his hand on. And then uh, preachers out there, you're not a preacher to me. I, I believe most of your hirelings in the pulpit want to be heard, and, 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 and your hirelings, they may want all that money. And you try to build a big old church so you can bring in big old dollars. Just like Clemplo dollar, man, that's all they think about is dollars. And and when he when he uh puts his hand on that Koran, that Quran, uh that book of hell, the book of Satan, yeah, and that's what his daddy is. Satan. He's of his father, the devil. And that book is of his father, the devil. <laughs> yeah. When he puts his hand on that thing, what are you preachers going to do? Huh? You going to shout for him then too? Huh, preacher? I'm talking to you, preacher. You said to your preacher in Tennessee. Yeah. What about your other preachers across the nation? Uh, that voted for Obama. What are you going to do uh, if he puts his hand on the Koran and he swears in? What are you going to do then, there, uh, so-called Christian? What are y'all going to do? You just gonna, you going to shout him in and say, Obama, Obama. You know what I'm going to say? Abomination, abomination, abomination. He's a wicked devil. And you've asked God to damn our nation out there, people. Yeah, you've taught your kids how to be wicked, hellions, reprobates, whoremongers, adulterers, drunkards, porno freaks. Do you know that in America, and I've said this before, do you know that the pornography industry 
is one of the biggest industries in this God fair nation that you say loves God, that's a bunch of hogwash. And you guys on the radio giving this little sugar love stuff out there and, and giving those scriptures here and there, put a little love on there, don't dare call them Sodom at your dog, Brother Wally. Call them homosexuals or gay. They're not homosexuals and they're not gay. They're sodomites. But you don't dare call them that because, I mean, after all, you're better than God. You're better than the Word of God. God calls them sodomites. But dare you call them sodomites because you're not following the God of the Bible. You serve another Jesus. Uh, that's why I say you don't serve the Jesus of the Bible out there, you guys. Call yourself doctor. Doctor of psychology, doctor of theology, uh, PhD, you don't know what that is, that's a post hole digger, and you ain't got one because your brain's so big you wouldn't know how to use it. You could write the instructions on the cell and you still couldn't figure it out. The Bible says you're ever learning, but you are never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. This nation is damned. It is damned because preachers did not preach. Amen! And when he swears on that Koran, what are you going to do, preacher? You know what I think you ought to do? Fall on your face before God Almighty and repent of your wickedness. How dare you call yourself a Christian or a preacher or a pastor or an apostle or a prophet or an evangelist and vote for a man that hates God? Allah's not God. Allah's not even real. He was a sun god that Muhammad the pervert made up. He made up Allah. Now, for you love people out there, like I said a while ago, you go back to Revelation. He's talking about that 42 months. Hey, man, I'm telling you. Hey, I rejoice. I'm being honest with you. I they don't, you know, my, my preaching's hard, but I can't help that. But I'm telling you this. I, Jesus is coming, man. Oh, you're going to see everything. You're going to see the plagues. Man, you're going to see You're gonna see diseases. You're going to see, I mean, my, some of the most, I'm telling you, you're going to see it. <laughs> Pestilences like you've never seen before in your life. Yeah. Messed up babies. Hey, you think we got them now? Wait. Hey, that's the judgment of God. I'm telling you, God is angry. Oh, how dare you say that? I'm telling you. You go back and study the Bible. People don't want to hear the truth. People want you to be comfortable, try to, you know, just be easy. I, I'm sorry. When you go back, God had passed judgment because of wickedness and because of sin. He said from one generation to the next, they are going to pay for their sins. Now, and for this cause, because they would rather they're in all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of truth that they might be saved. Obama don't care about Jesus. He don't care about being saved. Bush don't either. He's going straight to hell too. And for this cause, for what cause? Because America wants to live under that man that lives just like he, he's for the abortion, he's for murder, not abortion, the murder. He's a murderer. He has his hands and he, he, he is for murder. He serves Muslims. He serves Allah. And Allah's not real. Allah's a fake God. And the president is a fake president. <laughs> Only thing that I know about him is right is he's black. Change? Yeah. Big change coming. They're going to pass a law in America. Uh, and they tried it for all these years. Now they're going to try to, they're going to do it. Uh, it's going to be total. They're going, to, they're going to push the hate crime. They're going to do away with the Constitution. Uh, they're going to do away with it. And they're going to say,